Hi there, thanks for watching my video. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my laptop and I'm going to share an internet connection on two adapters that I have. The reason I'm doing that is I have a built-in adapter on my laptop, but that's not good enough for my situation. I live on a sailboat and I have a much stronger external adapter that's a one watt alpha system that runs through a four foot eight inch antenna out on the outside and I can get my internet from about a mile away. And that's very important to me because a lot of times the internal uh, system on my laptop will not pick up the internet that I can get which is like Wi-Fi from marinas or Wi-Fi from uh, restaurants or just Wi-Fi that people keep open because I'm usually in a cove that you know I could be a quarter of a mile a half a mile away from the closest internet so I have to have this super powerful one but the problem I have with that is I can't put that super powerful internet on all my devices it can only be on one so it's on my computer that I'm using my laptop and I use my laptop but I also want to share that with my other devices so I'm gonna talk you through how you would set up your laptop if you have two adapters on your laptop and one of those is a high powered adapter or if they're both equally powerful or whatever and this is how you can have incoming Wi-Fi and outgoing Wi-Fi that goes to all of your devices so the first thing you want to do in this situation is you want to run the command prompt which I have in a shortcut here but I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through how you get right to that command prompt you can skip ahead a few uh, about a minute if you need to but if you go to all programs accessories command prompt right here you'll want to not click it but right click it and then you'll want to run as administrator if you just click it it's going to run under, under your personal account so you want to run as administrator and you're going to accept the word yes on this and then you're going to be you're seeing this windows system 32 and uh, if you're in windows 7 this is exactly what you want to see here <clears throat> now the next thing you want to do is you want to go down below in the in the uh, about section I've pasted some some of this code here that you're going to need and this is the setup code that you need for this and that's net sh wlan hosted network mode equals allow ssid and this is what you name your network I've named mine len pilot and then you have key and the key would be your password in my case this is my key password and I'm going to change this so you know think about it any way you want to but what you do is you just copy that from down below and then you come over here back to this window and you paste it right here or you can type it out like I say it's going to be sitting down below once you've done that you just hit enter and it's going to tell you that it's set up the network and it's changed the sharing network to whatever this is right here and it's fully ready to be shared and then it's going to give you another prompt and on this prompt you're going to start the network but before you do there's a couple of things you need to do next and the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open your control panel so we'll open the control panel we'll find network and internet click on that and then network sharing center and we're going to click on that and then you're going to see change adapter settings and we're going to click on that too alright now you're going to see your network adapters this is the incoming network adapter and this is the one that I just built alright and both of these need to be this needs to be disabled the incoming mm -hmm. network adapter you're going to want to disable that and then the other one here uh, I'm going to disable it just for the sake of argument although I didn't really need to and now I'm going to enable it the reason I disabled it is because I already had it had it put in but I'm going to enable this now I'm going to go back over to my incoming network which in my case is connection 4 this is from my Realtek uh, wireless the high power that brings in networks from wherever and I'm going to right click that and I'm going to click on properties here <clears throat> now from there I'm going to click on sharing now I've already done this but you click allow other networks and users to connect through this network connection alright let's see if I disconnect that I'm gonna go ahead and just disconnect it for right now uh, okay so 
it's not sharing but anyway this is this is what you need to do so you click on allow other networks and then you drop this down and you find the new connection that you just built which in my case that is this wireless connection to the Microsoft virtual Wi-Fi mini port once you found that you find it in this list right here which is network connection 2 and then you click network connection 2 you check both these boxes and you click OK and once you've done that you're now sharing this over to this network so the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn this on so we're going to enable this and that will get that started right there so while that's doing that you'll okay now it's enabled now you'll go down into my comments section down below and you have to have this disabled while you're doing this uh, changing of the guard thing you know where you're where you're sharing it you have to disable it and then share it and then you re-enable it okay then in the meantime you can just pause my video and do that step the sharing step and then you come back and turn it back on and then you can turn back on my video where you will find down in the section down below this cut and paste code which you could actually just cut and paste that into a, a into a document you know a, a, like a word document or whatever now the next thing you need is a code to start it with and we're going to use this net sh wlan start hosted network so just copy that over to here and then go back over to your command prompt which you have not closed yet and you're going to see this right here now what's going to be interesting when you when you look in your uh, control panel you see this red X that has this turned off well that's going to change up when you paste this in here so you right click and you hit paste and then you hit enter and you see how it's identifying and all that now I come down here and it says my original has Netgear 69 internet access and then now Len Pilot Pirate is internet access so you're now turned on and you're good to go but there's one more thing that's kind of important here I mean you've already set it up you're ready to go but the other thing is when you turn off your computer and turn it back on this is not going to automatically start back up now you can make a bash file and all that which I'm not going to get into because I haven't made a bash file uh, probably since Windows uh, 95 I don't think I've made a bash file so I just really didn't feel like getting into that for this but anyway what you can do is you can make two files and I'm going to show you that too and what these two files are is one is net sh wlan stop hosted network and the other is exactly the same except that one says start hosted network now you can make these in word play, uh, wordpad or notepad or whatever just make sure you save them with the extension of bat at the end so the first one that i made i called stop virtual wi-fi bat and i made another one just like it where i just changed this to start and saved it as start virtual wi-fi bat and i saved both of these to my desktop actually I'm not gonna resave that but it, because I've already done it but you get the idea you save them to your desktop and I've got them right here one's a start and one's a stop so take the uh, for, for this example I'm gonna turn this off and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click uh, stop and I'm gonna click run as administrator it's gonna ask me if I want to run that it's gonna say yes and you see how that turned that off now I right click the start one and I click run as administrator and I click yes and it turns it right back on so in a nutshell that's pretty much what you got right there I mean that's it's really really easy and to recap all you have to do is go to your command prompt you do have to go to that and I know that's a little intimidating for a lot of people but just get to your command prompt I would I would make a shortcut for it which I've done because you probably are going to be needing that at some point but just go to all programs accessories and you'll see command prompt you right click it you run it as administrator all right I've already done that and it's open so I'm not going to go beat a dead horse on that and then you go to control panel and then you go to 
network and internet, network sharing center, change wireless adapter setting, you find your incoming connection, you turn that off, and then you turn this on, you turn the, the new virtual adapter, you, you make sure that that's enabled, and uh, in this case I'll disable it, and then I'll re-enable it. But you enable that first, and then you come in here, and you click Properties, and you click Sharing, and you click both of these, and you find that uh, initial connection, and then you hit OK on that. And at any rate, now we have both of these. Oh, and once you've disabled that, it's going to be not connected. So you'll have to go and either run this script or type this uh, net blah, blah, blah. Let's see. I think I still have it in, in my uh, paste. Yeah. So you click that, and you're good to go. And that opens that up. And then you check in your, uh, your network deal right here and you'll see that both of them have internet access and then you know you're golden. A couple other things that I wanted to point out in this and that is how to show that your hosted network is working. You just do net sh wlan show hosted and we'll copy that. We'll put that into the command prompt as well and this is going to show you your network is working. It's going to say what your network is. It's going to give you that you can put connect a hundred devices to it. That's pretty cool. And uh, w, WPA2 personal, uh, so there's, you know, you're, you're secure, you're not worried about, you know, just anybody seeing it and using it. Uh, status has started and when it started and all the other stuff, uh, or the ID and what you're broadcasting across, and your channel, channel number 11. I'm not sure how to change that channel. Uh, if you know how to change that channel, please leave a comment. That would be nice. And then also... Uh, not that you really need to change it. Now, if you want to see all the available networks that are available to you, you can do this net sh wlan uh, show networks. So we'll go here and we'll put that in there just to kind of show you what's going on here. And you can see that I have several networks around me that are, uh, and I'm in a, a really small town, but this is just all these networks that are around. And you can also see that I've got that. Uh, where did I see it? Somewhere I saw. Ah, there's the Len Pirate. That's me. So, anyway, I hope this has helped you. If it has, please comment, uh, rate, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to do more videos. I'm going to do a video on this high powered system that I've got that pulls in the internet from like a mile or so away. And uh, also going to do. I'm going to look into this once I get this computer sitting in, say, a coffee shop or something, and I don't have the high-powered network connected to it. I'm also going to try it on just uh, to see if I can just bounce off of a single, uh, a single device. I know I tried this to bounce off of my alpha system, but it shot me an error that said that something was not working. And when I turned on my local Wi-Fi, it was working. Now in my case I'm in a boat that's only 26 feet long so all the devices I'm gonna run off of this system can be run pretty much directly off of my laptops Wi-Fi built-in Wi-Fi so anyway this is a dual Wi-Fi system you can also set it up for a LAN there are videos online for that and I may make a video for that if I do connect to a LAN at some point but once again, thank you. I hope this has helped you. If it has, please leave a comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another, another video.